Here at St. Teresa, we pride ourselves on the warmth of our building. We hope that you feel that warmth. Universal Pre-K has enabled us to have a higher enrollment. We've been able to uh, retain many of the students that have been in our Pre-K program for kindergarten and first grade and so on. And it's been a wonderful experience here at St. Teresa's School. Parents were willing to remain part of St. Teresa and make the initial investment of paying tuition to have their children in this wonderful environment. Today our pre-K celebrated their 100th day of school, so we have a lot of celebrations going on in our school building today. This year we will be offering a 3K program as well, uh, a program also funded by the City of New York, and the children will be able to come to St. Teresa free of charge and enjoy the environment of St. Teresa School. In the lower grades, in K and 1, we have a teacher and an aide in each classroom, which is great. Many of our class sizes are between 25 to 30 students per class. We pride ourselves on the fact that we have a lot of kids in this building and it's wonderful. Here at St. Teresa, the foundation for sacramental life begins in kindergarten. Our children in kindergarten begin religious instruction 45 minutes a day, Monday through Friday. Prior to COVID, our school community attended Mass on a monthly basis as a community. Our kindergarten students attend Mass with us. In second grade, our children prepare for the sacrament of penance and First Holy Communion. And then throughout the years, children have religious education daily, and they prepare for the sacrament of confirmation, which takes place in the seventh grade. So welcome to our 8th grade classroom. Our 8th graders this year, because of COVID, are located in the cafeteria. So the majority of the students in the 8th grade are in school every single day. Today is the feast day of St. Peter of the Chair, which is a feast of our Pope. And the children are watching a video about the Pope. And they're going to write letters to the Pope. And we're going to mail them to him at the Vatican. We are very fortunate here at St. Teresa to have a very active pastor. Father Derivan is our pastor, and he is always around the building. He's here in the morning to greet the students as they enter our school building. He's here throughout the school day to say hi to the children and speak to them. And he's instrumental in making sure that our sacramental program runs efficiently here at St. Teresa's. St. Teresa stands for community, faith, and education. At St. Teresa School, we have a very active homeschool association. The parents help raise a lot of money for our school, which in turn is given right back to the students. The homeschool association helps facilitate a lot of programs within our school community. The homeschool also runs bingos, our annual fashion show, as well as assists us with our Christmas show and spring show. We have a wonderful faculty. They're certified. They've been here for a long time. We've had very little turnover. My teachers don't look at the clock when they work. They give 110% of themselves to their students at all times. So many of our graduates go on to Catholic high schools. Uh, we're very fortunate that we've had children accepted to Regis High School, which is a full four-year scholarship. Um, we've also had children accepted to other schools in the area uh, on full scholarship. This year alone we have our first full ride to Fordham Prep, which is a great achievement for our school community as well. I attribute the success of our students here at St. Teresa to our academic program as well as to our extracurricular activities that we provide for them.